Good morning children. How are you today? I am your math teacher Jinsi. I hope you all already seen yesterday's math class. If not, don't forget to see it once again. Look in this picture. There are five circles are given. Let me give some instructions regarding this. First, the numbers are starting from 1 to 5 has to arrange in the circle. Do not repeat the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The numbers are starting from 1 to 5 has to arrange in the circle. Do not repeat the numbers. If you add the numbers starting from starting from top to bottom corner, top to bottom corner and bottom corner to left side. We must get the same number or same value. If you are participating any competition, surely you will get a clue. Same way, I am also giving a clue to you. You can write the corner circle 5. Right here. In this case, first we have to do is... Write down 1 to 5 and add it together. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. Add it together, we will get 15. Now, we have to subtract 5 from 15. 5 from 15. We get 10. 5 from 15. We get 10. Now, we have to write that 10 into 2 equal parts. 10 is equal to 5 5. Then we have to write 5 5 into 2 parts in different way because we know that the numbers cannot be repeated. So we can write 5 into 1 and 4. 1 and 4. We get 5 in one way. Then another way 2 and 3. If add all these numbers you will get 10 in both sides. If add all these numbers, you will get 10 in both sides or both ways. Another example. Here, the numbers are starting from. Here given 7 circles. Here, the numbers are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Numbers are starting from 1 to 7. How to arrange in this circle? You can write the corner circle 3. In this case, first we have to do is write down 1 to 7 and add it together.
we will get 28. Now, we have to subtract 3 from 28. Subtract 3 from 28. We get 25. Here, we can write the 25 into equal parts, two equal parts. Now, let's choose 6. Now, let's choose 6. Instead of 3. In the same way, we had to subtract 6 from 28. 6 from 28, we get 22. Then we had to write 20, <coughs> sorry, 22 into two equal parts. That is 11. 11. Then we have to write 11 into 2 equal parts in different ways. Because we know that the numbers cannot be repeated. So we can write 11 into 1, 7, 3. 1, 7, 3. Then another way. Another way. 2, 4, 5. If add all these numbers, you will get 17 in both sides. Add these numbers and these numbers add, we will get 17. From this, what we understood is, or I can say, what the concept is. First, subtract odd number from another odd number. We will get only another even number. That is, 1 plus, 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5. We get 50. Then, subtract 5 from 15, we get 5. From 15, we get 10. Second, subtract any even number from another even number, we will get another even number. That is 1 plus 7, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 6 plus 7 is equal to 28. That is 6 from, subtract 6 from 28, we get 22. I hope now you know the concept. So, I am giving you a homework. That try to make different pattern by giving different numbers in the corner circle. That is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the homework. In this picture, let's check whether the conditions are achieving or following. There are three sides. First, we, can, we will consider one side. Add all numbers in that side together. Four, three, one. 2, 6, 5. There are three sides. First, we will 
consider one side and all these numbers in that side together we will get 4 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 9. We will get the center. Then next 3 plus 6 plus 11. We get 10. Then next 4 plus 5 plus 1. We get 10. We can't get 9 in 2 side. Another example. 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you do the same for this picture, surely we getting 9 in each side while adding numbers in each side together. So, let's look into this picture and check now the numbers are arranged 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Here, the given numbers are consecutive numbers. That, that means continuous numbers. Another example. Now we write 10 in the center. First, we will consider one side and all numbers in that side together we will get 10. 1, 3, 5. 4, 6, 2. Just consider this picture. Here the numbers are arranged 1, 3, 5 inside the triangle. So the rule is while adding each side the triangle you have to get 10. 1 plus 6 plus 2. 3 plus 5 plus 2. equal to 10. You have to get 10. According to that, you can write the center of the each side, but we cannot the number. So, here we are writing 6, 4, 2. Now, let me repeat it again. If we consider more pictures, we can, sum, we can see some similarities. In the first picture, the corner numbers, the corner numbers are consecutive numbers. 1, 2, 3 are consecutive natural numbers. And in the second picture, the corner numbers are consecutive odd numbers. Let me conclude from these pictures together. What we learn is... First, if you add two even numbers and one odd number, you will get another odd number. 2 plus 6 plus 1, we get 9. Add two even numbers and one odd number, you will get another odd number. Then second one. If you add 3 odd numbers, you will get another odd number. 1 plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 9. You add 3 odd numbers, you will get another odd number. Then third one. If you add 2 odd numbers and 1 even number, you will get another even number. 5 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 12. Add 2 odd numbers and 1 even number. We get another even number. Then fourth one. If you add 3 even numbers, you will get another even number. 
6 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 12. Add 3 even numbers, you will get another even number. You can make examples like this and send it to me. Thank you.